So my name is Debbie and I am going to help you with this particular problem. I've been an AP statistics uh, teacher for many years and I hope that I can make this more clear for you. This particular problem is trying to see if you see the difference between working with uh, population distributions versus sample distribution, sample distribution curves. So part A is definitely asking you about a population and part B is definitely asking you about a sample. It's important to note that they say that the population is normally distributed, which means that you can use sample distribution theory for part B. Okay, so it's really important to always show your teacher um, your work. So let's start with part A, and we're just trying to find the probability that if one child is selected, what's the likelihood that they would fall between 216 and 224? So if you draw your curve, basically what you're trying to do is find a probability in this area. And we're going to put 216 here and 224 here. And you just state the mean of the population, which is 220. And the standard deviation of the population, which is 16.3. Sometimes your teachers want to see the z-score. So you would write out the z-score calculation, which is x bar minus mu over sigma, and I'll fill in the numbers for the 216. You would do the same thing with 224. So we're going to put 216 minus 220 over 16.3, and you come up with negative 0.245. This is saying that 216 is uh, basically two and a half standard or 0.2 and a half standard deviations away from the mean. So 0.245 standard deviations away from the mean. And if you plug in the 224, it's actually going to be positive 0.245. So then in your calculator, you can use norm CDF if you're using a TI-84. And you would put in uh, the lower boundary of 216, the upper boundary of 224, a mean of 220, a standard deviation of 16.3. Uh, and what you come up with is a p-value or a probability of 19.39%. Uh, Sorry, I'm having troubles with my circles. Okay, so to do part B, I'm gonna do a new board here. To do part B, really nothing is changing. It's still the curve. Oops, that's a bad curve, but anyways, we'll leave that. They're still trying to figure out the area between 216 and 224. But the difference now, so now we have a mean, we're gonna say X bar, the mean is um, 220. And we're going to say a sample standard deviation is going to be 16.3 divided this time by the square root of the sample size, which is 12. Okay, so your standard deviation is much smaller now, 4.705. And this makes sense because we're taking a sample of 12 and averaging them. So now our curve is actually going to be much tighter, much narrower than the previous curve. Everything else you do the same, um, except for your z-score. Instead, this time you're going to use x bar minus mu. The mu would still be 220, but this time we're going to use the sample standard deviation. So we're going to put in the 4.75. You still do norm CDF, and what you come up with this time is a p-value of 60.48%. All right, I hope this helps and um, please think of me when you're wanting to get a tutor.